Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and what we're going to do in this video is continue to explore the powerful new geometric tools provided by 1CNC XR5. Now to begin with, all I'm doing is I'm just sketching a couple of quick shapes here, and I really don't care what they look like. I'm just really pushing in anything here just to get a basic shape going. That looks good. Let's quickly sketch an arc as well. I'll place that right there. That looks good. All right, so let's take a look at the brand new alter command first. This is brand new for XR5. You can find it within your transform toolbar or over here within the main uh, toolbar underneath transform as well. It's called alter. Now what alter allows you to do is it allows you to alter existing geometry. Now for lines, you can alter their endpoints. You can do it dynamically or you can type in coordinate input. So for example, let's say we want to alter that endpoint right there. Just left hand mouse click. And if you'd like, you can come down and drag it and snap it wherever you want. Let's do that again. I'm going to grab it and snap it to the midpoint. How about I grab it and snap it to the datum? What about I grab that endpoint and use coordinate input? Let's type in X1 and we'll tab down and type in Y minus 1 and click OK. All right, so you can dynamically move it or alter the endpoints or you can use coordinate input. Now I'm just going to snap here on these endpoints just come along here. Let's reference off of that. We'll come up vertical, left click. Let's grab that one and push it up there. All right. Now for circles, there's a lot of things you can do with alter as well. For example, if I grab the center of the circle, I can easily move this anywhere that I'd like. All right. What's also neat about this command for circles is that you can grab the circumference and dynamically change that. You can drag it up and left click or you can drag it down and left click. Now, of course, you don't have to drag. You can always just grab the circumference and then come over here and type in whatever value you want. So I might type in 0.75 for that. That looks good. I'll click the OK button and that looks great. You can do the same for coordinate input. If I grab the center there, I can say, hey, I really want to place that at uh, X. How about X 2.1? And also we'll go with Y minus 3 and I'll click the OK button. All right. So it's really, really nice. All right. Let's take a look at some other dynamic tools. Why don't we take a look at chamfer? Let's head over here. We're going to grab the chamfer tool. Now, I already have a value of 0.375, but watch what happens now when I grab these lines. I'm going to grab that line. As soon as I hover over the next line, I get a nice preview of that chamfer. And it doesn't matter what side I, I select, I still get that nice preview. If I like it, I can left hand mouse click. If I'm not happy with the preview, I can change that value. So I'll come over here. How about I type in uh, 0.1 for that? and left hand mouse click and now I have a 0.1 chamfer in there. So you have a lot of dynamic feedback happening here. If I want a larger chamfer there, all I have to do is come over here, type in a bigger value and then continue on and left click and we're finished. Fillet works exactly the same way. You have that nice dynamic preview. Right now I have this set to 0.75 so I'm going to left click. As I come up there, there's the preview. If I like that, I can left click and it will put it in there. If I don't like the amount, I can always change it. So if I come here, I look at that and I think, oh, that's too big. I really want to change that to 0.5. Come back in, left click, and we're finished. All right, let's take a look at some other dynamic tools provided by XR5. Let's head down to shapes. A lot of these commands are dynamic now. Why don't we just demonstrate the bolt hole? Of course, you can use coordinate input to locate the bolt hole, but I think I'm just going to come over here and sketch a position. I'll just left click. As soon as I do that, I can dynamically drag that anywhere I'd like. And of course, you can use values over here as well. I'm just going to left hand click for that. Now another powerful tool provided by XR5 is the new parallel offset command. This is also dynamic and here's how it works. We're going to select this and I'm going to leave this value at 0.15. This works for lines and arcs. So let's start with a line. I'm going to grab that guy right there. As soon as I left click, I now can dynamically drag an offset shape using that 0.15 distance to either side here. If I like it, I just left hand mouse click and we're good. Now it works on arcs as well. If I grab the arc, I can move inside or outside and I still get that offset shape. If I like it, I just left hand mouse click. What's nice too is you can dynamically change the value as you're moving along. So for example, let's grab this line and let's say I'm unhappy with that 0.15 distance. I can come over here, change the distance to 0.25 and that instantly updates and I can move inside or out and left click. Another nice thing too is that with this command, you can grab more than just one shape. If you double click, if I click once, click twice, now I'm grabbing the entire shape and I can offset the whole thing inside or out. I'm going to move that inside and left hand mouse click. 
That looks great. All right, I'm going to select the outside shapes. I just hit the letter S like Sierra on the keyboard to select that. I'll hit delete. That looks good. Now for those of you that have the uh, Mill Professional or Mill Expert, we've also added a lot of uh, dynamic tools for extruding and things like that. Let's demonstrate that. Let's head up here to extrude extrude curves. I'm going to grab the outside and then right hand mouse click. As soon as I do that I can dynamically drag this and I can look over here and reference whatever height. Of course I can type in a value but if I want I can come down and I can snap and it creates it. Same for cut. Let's grab the cut tool. I'll grab that. We'll come down. I'm going to drag that down to a half inch. Left hand mouse click and there's the cut. If I want to blast all the way through the solid I can left hand mouse click. Just come all the way down. Left click and there's a hole quickly put through there. It's very, very nice. Why don't we do the same thing with those uh, those bolt holes there. We're going to grab that, pull down, and all I'm doing is I'm just grabbing the holes and then left hand mouse clicking. And of course you can type values in if you want, but if you're going to push the holes all the way through the model, just grab them and you're finished. Now let's wrap this video up with showing some other uh, dynamic tools provided by XR5. I'm going to select all of our geometry and let's use the move tool. Now within XR5 you have a standard move tool where you can move and scale and then you have a move copy command. But let's just use the move tool here. All right. Let's say I want to move this shape so that this theoretical intersection right here is at x0, y0. In previous versions of, XR, of 1C and C you'd have to create extra geometry but with XR5 I can come over, reference that that theoretical intersection, left hand mouse click. If I want to I can type in a destination over here but in my case I'm just going to left click the datum and there we go. It's as simple as that. Alright, this video is really long. Let's make one more demonstration here. Let's take a look at rotate. I'm going to grab everything here and I'm going to use the rotate command and one CNC says okay pick the position you want to rotate around. I'm going to grab the datum. As soon as I do that one CNC superimposes a compass. Now I can use that compass. I can easily come up here for example rotate this 90 degrees and we're finished. Let's do that again. I'll grab the the datum. I'm going to come back over here rotate around 90 degrees and left hand mouse click. If you don't want to use the compass no problem. You can come over here to the left and type in whatever value you'd like. Hit the OK button and you're you're completed or finished there. All right. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, we're going to take a look at manufacturing. I'll see you then.